All right, so I'm gonna make a quick video uh, to help diagnose why your midnight charge controller may not be powering on. Uh, there's a number of things of all the trailers that I have interacted with. Uh, first off, your midnight charge controller could literally be dead. That's uh, one thing that I wanted to point out. Uh, over here in the photo combiner box, uh, these breakers here, it is really not recommended that you flip these up really fast, those two right there, because that can send literally a wall of energy that can cook your uh, midnight charge controller. So it's always recommended that you turn this on first, let it power up fully, then once it's fully powered up, then turn one on, let it sit for a little bit, and turn two on so that you can send that in incrementally. Honestly, it wouldn't even be a bad idea if you rotated your solar panels to be away from the sun when you're manipulating these because that would definitely help minimize any, uh, you know, wall of power that's going to burn up your midnight charge controller. Uh, all right, so this thing right here, this, uh, this is the photo combiner box right here. When it's in this open position, you can just pull on this and it literally just comes well hang on it just pulls out sorry <laughs> and then once you've pulled that out you can then reach up here and you can actually just pull this plastic thing forward and you can see down here at the bottom those little pin uh those little guys go into those little slots right there all right so once you have this open you can take a voltmeter and you can actually, you can see how this side is uh, black, but you'll notice that there's one wire here that kind of runs over and connects to this bar over here as well. So both of these bars inside of the uh, photo combiner box are considered your negative feeds. These red lines that come up, this, this right here are your solar panel wires that come up and you'll see here how one goes into breaker, uh, three and four, and the other one goes into breakers one and two. Um, and then you'll notice that there's this little black wire up here that then feeds over into uh, breaker. It, it's like uh, post uh, breaker number uh, three and four. And the reason they do that is because then on this red line, they then take that red line and feed that back down, and that is what comes over to the midnight charge controller. So. If there's no power to your midnight charge controller, you should take your voltmeter. Now, you always want to be careful in here because this is live power, potentially. Um, but you can, you can take your positive lead and actually poke it in on any one of those um, right there. And because this is coming directly from the solar panels. So this is always going to be live, always if your panels are in the sun. So always be really careful about that, especially with these two. I've had where these screws right here are loose. And then I've also had it where this screw was loose and so then only half the solar panels were working. And then I've also had it where this one right here that was feeding onto the main line was also loose. So like just kind of as you wiggle these cables just a little bit, you can usually tell if you're uh, if your breaker is is stiff um, and you want to be careful not to over tension these these nuts in here because you can this is just a little plastic circuit breaker it's not metal you can literally break uh, those things off really easily uh, and then uh, this right here this line this fat this fat red one that comes up from the bottom this is coming from the battery terminal itself and we're going to talk about this one a little bit more in just a second, but that comes up here. You got to make sure that that is also uh, secured properly as well. This breaker number five really is the one that powers your midnight charge control. Or yeah, and if if that's powered on, your midnight charge controller should turn on. Now this breaker has gone bad before, where it has to get replaced. And and to test that, you can usually just put your voltmeter positive here voltmeter negative here and you should be able to see 48 volts or 50 volts or whatever's coming off of your your main battery because this is coming from the battery if you don't see power on this main line this main line comes down goes through the bottom of the cabinet 
and comes over here that's the same red line right there and you can see that it's connected just above where the generator would normally plug in right there now this guy you i've never really had a situation where this wire on the inside was loose it's always been uh successfully snapped in there but you can see inside that little square adapter there that is like a single single pole uh, anderson connector it, it's very similar to the anderson connector that the batteries connect to but uh there was one time this wire on the other side was not snapped into that so like like this would come out uh, and so then it wasn't connecting properly you also want to check this side this guy right here again this is like a little mini anderson connector and i've had one time where this red wire was not snapped in there and so even though it was plugged in all the way it wasn't connecting and it, well it was connecting but it was kind of arcing so you want to make sure that that is really in there snug you could even take this off and then this wire comes into this and it goes all the way down and then connects onto the batteries here let me come over and show you where that connects onto the battery so you can kind of see Ugh. Ugh. let's see my trailer's a little different so i have to be careful this right here this 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 main wire this is where that red line comes in and connects on to the uh the main uh, battery feed and then from here, this is how it charges the uh charges the batteries uh, the reason my batteries are white is because i've been sprinkling baking soda on so it's just always on here and then when it gets wet it'll just instantly and immediately start to deactivate the uh, electrolyte fluids on the top i still don't know if this is a good idea if you ever try this make sure you wash it off before you try to water your batteries because you don't want any of this to fall down inside your battery so it's really bad it'll neutralize actually let me open this back up again I've had situations where this just was not connected very well. You can see how this has a little screw or a bolt on it. As you loosen this, these jaws open up and it opens up both on this wire and also this wire as well. I've had it where this was not clamped on very well or the jaws were kind of off center a little and then it wasn't clamping down and wasn't connecting very well on this wire and on this wire. Both of those could cause your midnight charge controller not to power on. Now coming back over here, if you take your voltmeter and you measure from this wire to the ground, you should get the battery voltage. And then with this up, you can measure from there to the ground and you should also get the same battery voltage. If this is dead or isn't working and this is in the on position, that could be a telltale sign that your breaker's bad right there. Um, I think that's generally most of it. I've never really had a loose wire inside the midnight charge controller, uh, but uh, you'll see that there's four screws, or there's one, two, and then three and four. You take those four off, the front panel comes off, and then behind that, there, there's two bolts down here on the bottom there's another bolt up here at the top. That's the, those three bolts is what's holding the midnight charge controller on. And um, it's kind of a hassle to take this apart right here because the, the back of this box actually kind of hits these little guys. And so as you're trying to tighten or loosen this, you, you can be jamming into the back of the box and it, it doesn't want to turn very, very easily. So just know that it's a real hassle if you ever get in here to take this out. Generally speaking, if all these breakers are off, no power should be coming into the midnight charge controller. But again, we're dealing with electricity. Everyone needs to be very careful and cautious. I recommend, and my master electrician that came and worked on my system, he, even if you think it's off and it looks visually off, he will always test, uh, he will always test the circuit to make sure that there is no voltage. Uh, and I strongly recommend that, so. Uh, and then, uh, but this, this line right here, and this line tends to be where you want to make sure that you have power. 
if you don't have power to this then there's definitely something missing either on the side of the cabinet back in here or the line going back to the battery i hope this is helpful for anyone out there uh, we will uh, chit chat with you later i've got another video i'm getting ready to post that talks about swapping out a midnight charge controller i think i have all the video clippings i just need to upload it so i'll look and see if i can find all that and get it put together all right bye everybody